everyone, it's me, Mark the Movie Man, and yes, today I finally got around to watching Sherlock Holmes. Yes, the review is afoot. No, wait, that's not a foot. This is a foot. Ah! <laughs> Yes, everyone, it is that time again, and I am the Movie Man, and today I finally got around to seeing Sherlock Holmes. And let me tell you, folks, the movie did not disappoint. In fact, it surprised me a little. Now, of course, it starts Robert Downey Jr. and June Law as Sherlock Holmes and uh, Watson, respectively, linked to the bottom of the rest of the cast and crew. Now, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I kind of got worried because I thought they were really going to make Sherlock Holmes, you know, a l really slapstick type of comical character with Watson being the actual serious genius behind the Sherlock Holmes, as we have seen in a number of other movies. But that is not the case. Instead, in Robert Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes, we get the tortured genius. We get the man whose brain is too good for its own good, and it uh, it actually drives himself a little batty. So uh, they explain away in the movie very well why he acts a little bit out of sorts, out of the ordinary, maybe not what we're used to seeing Sherlock Holmes act. Also, uh, Watson uh, uh, plays it straight-laced, but he's not too straight-laced. He also has some humor to it, and he can hold himself up well against the mighty Sherlock Holmes and his very strong personality. Folks, this is a fun movie. It's a great reinvention. Now, I know a number of people didn't like it because Sherlock wasn't as stuffy as we're used to seeing him come out of the BBC, but I personally really enjoyed this film. What's really funny about this film is that um, it's got a dark side to it, it you know, You've got Guy Ritchie, he's trying to bring his lock, stock, and two smoking barrels type of style to Sherlock Holmes, yet still keeping it, uh, you know, uh, congealed enough for your mainstream audience to follow. And he does that very well. What, what kind of disappointed me was, it was like, they get near the ending, though, and they kind of... Um, I don't know, got lazy or what with it. it. So it kind of faltered a little at the end. I do love how they handled Sherlock Holmes' uh, dis portraying how his mind works, running through all the steps of the things he's thinking before he actually does it. I thought that was great. Special effects were great. And the score, which is up for an Academy Award nomination, was great. I really enjoyed the score. It surprised me. Now, it's not one of those boom surprises you know, super scores, but I can see why they did nominate it for the Academy Award. Whether or not the score wins the Academy Award, we'll have to wait and see. What I will say is do not wait and see Sherlock Holmes before it completely leaves the theater. You need to see this on the big screen just because of the cinematography going on, special effects, as well as just it's a fun movie to see in the theater with your popcorn and soda. Okay, folks, I give it four stubs. That's right, Sherlock Holmes got four stubs in my book. I thoroughly enjoyed this film, and I think you will too. That'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.